Star Wars Geek Girls. They're geek girls that like Star Wars. And sometimes cry. Hello, welcome to Star Wars Geek Girl. I'm Zoe, and as usual, I'm here with Lizzie. Hello. And we are going to talk about Star Wars. Star Wars. It's been a while. It's been a while. Uh, School, I was finishing up my semester. Lizzie's always, her school's always doing. Yeah, my school does not end. (laughs) Yeah. Um... Yeah, I was just I was, I came back from school and I was like settling in, so I did take a week off from articles last week, but I will continue them this week, next week. The it depends on maybe last week, depending on when you're listening to this, you know. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, but we're back. Um, we have a lot of things to talk about, and yeah, I guess we'll just get into it. Um, the first thing. This was StarWars.com did a fan spotlight, and this time did it on our own favorite people, uh, Jonah, Jonah Marie Macias, and her mom, Maria, from the Geeky Bubble podcast. Hey, I like those people. Those people are cool. They're great. It's a very great article. It's on StarWars.com. You should read it and learn all about all about those lovely, lovely people. Um, my favorite part was definitely um ma saying that she wants mall as a road trip buddy <laughs> i'm just obsessed with that answer interesting i think it's really cool was there a reason or um, just like he would present a challenge every step of the way mm. he would bring fascinating remarks doubts and crazy moments at every turn which which is true um yeah, I mean, she's not wrong, <laughs> but I know who else would do that. Uh, my mom um, and on on road trips. Uh, yeah, I I, I don't know if if Maul, Darth Maul would be my preferred road trip buddy, uh, but, you know, good for you. <laughs> who is yours? Um, That's a great question. I feel like Ray, just because, like, you know, if, I mean, if we're, like, going, like, cross-country in the U.S., she's experienced with deserts, if the car breaks down, she knows mechanics, she can fix it, plus she's just, like, cool and fun, and I know she would want to try all different foods with me in all different restaurants, so. Mm. I see, I see. Yes. What about Claude? <sighs> Good point. Claude's always like, the answer, isn't he? Yeah. Always the answer. I'm surprised you didn't say him first. You know, I was just, it was a lapse in judgment. I'm really sorry to. <laughs> Honestly, I think. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would probably choose like Cookie or something. Because mm-hmm. he can like food, you know? He can. And I can make him try a bunch of like, um, like food, like just around. Or if we're traveling like road trip, road trip, like in space, he can have me try a bunch of food. That would be cool. Yes. But the real answer is Claude. That's it. The real answer is Claude. That, the only answer. Mm-hmm. It's the correct answer. There wasn't a right answer to that question, but it, it is Claude. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. There are no right and wrong, except you're wrong if you don't say Claude. All right. Um, the next bit of news, another little thing, the um, cover art for The Princess and the Scoundrel, which is a book coming out uh, at some point. Uh, I forget. <laughs> um, uh, August 16th, Princess and the Scoundrel comes out. Um, and I'm mostly just noting it because it's like reminds me of like the old Legends books that are like painted, you know? It does. A lot of people compare it to like The Courtship of Princess Leia, which I haven't read, but I've heard is notorious for being less than good. Um, so I think it's interesting. I don't know. It's really pretty. And um, I just like that. That like kind of like old classic like romance novel style. Like they're really going in on the like Jeez. romance story. Oh, and I love cool. it. 
I think that's so sweet. <laughs> yes, the art style is very cute. And I, the colors are really nice too. Yeah, no, it's beautiful. I cannot wait to have it on my shelf and to read it. That's probably the more important part. But um, Also, it's not on our notes, so sorry, Lizzie. But I did want to, because it popped up on the side of the screen, I did want to bring up that they posted a preview of Celebration Anaheim store exclusives. And I was looking at it earlier, and one of the items is literally a box of rocks, and it says Space or Force Training Kit. And I just think that's... Mm. <laughs> It They're just, really reaching. It really amuses me. I'm definitely not going to buy it, but I think it's hilarious. Are you, are you sure? No. But, like, you get your own forced training kit. <laughs> um, I just think it's really funny. And that was all. I think that's a win. I just want to shout out to that because I think it's funny. <laughs> also, they had a Dex's Diner neon sign, which I would get if it wouldn't be a total pain to get back across the country and there's a frog lady plushie <gasps> frog lady plushie i will definitely get you a frog lady plushie yes it's like the best plushie besides like claude and then she has a little egg backpack and everything <gasps> but like are they gonna do like a matching like you know like um like her husband that i don't know, I, don't know. I just see frog lady but you know oh, like and then show and see and then, it, like, so it's a plushie of her husband, and it's a plushie of her. And then you can also, like, collect plushies of just the eggs to put in her basket. <laughs> I you think know, Disney and Lucasfilm need ideas. to, uh, you need, they need to, um, you know, kind of like the, uh, the rocks. They have to keep doing that, but with other things that are cool. <laughs> they should hire you for product <laughs> consultation. Mm-hmm. I know what the people want. <laughs> you are tuned in to the market. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's that. The other news is that Ahsoka, the Ahsoka series, began production, and they posted a picture of a director's chair that says Ahsoka on the back. And genuinely, I don't know how, the first time I saw the picture, I did not see the cowboy hat. Because there's a one of these cowboy hats sitting, like, hanging off the side of the chair. I genuinely did not see it. I don't know how I missed it and then later uh, I saw Ann Convery had reposted the picture and that time I saw the cowboy hat and I was like oh my gosh that's so funny she photoshopped a cowboy hat on it and then I saw the picture again later and I was like oh the, it's actually no. there. <laughs> <laughs> I think I saw that when I pulled up Instagram to look for my dad <laughs> yes so the Soka series is be in production um it's supposed to come out next year so that was exciting um the next bit of news is that funko is doing a pop line of women of the galaxy um leading it the start first one is padme in that like purple and blue outfit from revenge of the sith with the like crescent headpiece behind her which is really pretty and honestly it's shocking to me that this is only the third padme funko pop i Um, had that like, I didn't have that. I had, so McDonald's had, like, toys that they would give with Happy Meals that my dad got me every single, or, like, at least tried to get every single one for me. And there was that specific outfit, that specific, like, pose. And mm-hmm. you could, like, put her on, like, it was, like, one of those cars where you pull it back and it has wheels and it would go forward and, like, spin around. It was great. It looked exactly like that. I love it. Um, yeah, it's like the only other two Padme pops are like her, like, I think there's, I know there's a Queen Amidala one, like the red, and then like the white one from Attack of the Clones. And I think that's literally it for Padme, which is like, blows my mind. Ray has like four outfits and has like so many different Funko pops. Mm-hmm. Padme. Again, they could be making so much more. Money off of these you know there are Padme people who get every single one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so I hope this leads us into a Padme outfit revolution for Funko Pops and other things. Um, because really only the only ones ever anyone ever does is Queen Amidala in the white outfit. Ripped up, of course. They don't do the full one, just ripped up. Um mm-hmm. 
So yeah, Power of the Galaxy will be a line of a bunch of different female characters, uh, which is it's interesting to me to see which, because a lot of them like already have some. So it's interesting to um, see which ones that like don't already have them will get some. Mm-hmm. Or if it will just be like, like re-releases of other ones and like past poses. I, I, what I'm getting at is I want Sabine. Give me more Sabine. <laughs> there are two. Yes, pretty much. There are two. They're both season two. One helmet on, one helmet off. It's fantastic. I, I, I want the other ones, please. Like all, all of them. All the colors. Give me, give me epilogue. Give me season three. Please. Please. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's that. Um. And then I'm going to skip. Um, a couple of days ago, actually, was the 20th anniversary of Attack of the Clones. Nice, nice. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Uh, Anakin and Padme on their wedding. Congratulations. <laughs> you guys may get 20 years without anything horrible happening. Yeah, of course um, not. <laughs> um, yes. And of course, happy anniversary to um, I Don't Like Sand. Mm. Interesting. <laughs> There are a lot of things, there are a lot of anniversaries here, and some are better than others. I also like, um, you know, the the women and the children. Uh, Mm -hmm. Many anniversaries with Attack of the Clones. So many memes. So many memes. Um, Yeah. Uh, StarWars.com is doing a lot of public interviews and things like that um for 20th anniversary and there's going to be a panel at celebration in two weeks about it less than two weeks um just exciting yes so that's the i don't want to say little news that seems dismissive but the little news Mm -hmm. um the big stuff um there was an another obi-wan trailer Mm-hmm. Yes, I saw that. Yes, it was a, uh, it was beautiful. Also, like, I guess spoilers, but Owen, like, <laughs> I don't know why he had to like roast him. I don't know why he had to <laughs> roast Obi Wan. <laughs> Hasn't he been through enough, Owen? <laughs> Hasn't he been through enough? Yeah, <laughs> that poor like, little man is raggedy robe, and you roast him. Yeah, that was, like, I watched, so it was just, like, you know, the beginning, I was, like, oh, Inquisitors, that's really cool, and it was, like, roast, and I was, like, oh, (laughs) that's sad, that's mean, that's mean. I will say, um, I know, I think we talked about it a little bit, the first teaser has that shot of the Grand Inquisitor, and he looks, he looked a little off in that, the more, and this might be another case of me just like looking at something and the more I like it or the more, or the more I see it the more I'm like making myself like it or the more I get used to it I don't know but like from different angles I do think that Grand Inquisitor costume looks better than that one shot I think maybe that one shot was like just a bit of an awkward angle for it mm-hmm. yeah I see that but from other angles I, I think it looks better I didn't have too much of a reaction I wasn't like that looks awful I was just like, oh, yeah, he's a visitor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, he still doesn't, you know, look like the Utapalans from Revenge of the Sith, but I do think the more I the more I see it from different angles, the more I'm like, okay, that looks good. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, and a, the trailer isn't anything particularly new. Um, more shots and stuff of stuff that we, have some of the same shots, but also more shots of stuff we've just already seen before. The Inquisitors, the cool city. Um, Obi Wan uses a gun in this one. Yeah, um, we love that. We love Obi Wan being uncivilized. Mm-hmm. Uh, he does it quite a bit now. He yeah, kinda has well, to. Okay, yes, yeah, you can't. Don't really want to be whipping out lightsabers mm-hmm. anymore. Um, there's a shot of a handheld, cute little droid disc thing. And mm-hmm. I want one. <laughs> I agree. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes. Yeah. There, yeah. Again, there wasn't too much, but it was it was quite a bit to get me excited for it. Yeah. 
Um, is there I a will, release date? Yes, May 28th now. May 28th, two episodes will come out. And then one episode of every subsequent Friday. 27th, I lied, 27th. Lion. I know. So <laughs> not this coming Thursday, but next Thursday. Or maybe this coming Thursday, if you listen to this in more than three days from our recording of it. Um, yes, the 27th. I will say I also, I really like, it's a small thing, I guess, but I really like what they're doing with the titles in these trailers. Like the Lucasfilm logo gets like blown away with sand. And then like the plus symbol, like a lightsaber cuts through and makes that little arc. I just see. like little things like that. It just makes me happy. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Fair. Yeah. Um, I like seeing Obi Wan. He just makes me happy. <laughs> That's all. That's good because he certainly is not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's getting like chased. He's getting roasted. Like, th- there's a lot happening. It's not very fun. Yeah. I know he's like trying to, you know, he says like to. I guess we should say what the roast is for those who haven't seen the trailer. Though you should, he says like, um, the point is like training. someone at the train yeah. trained him, and he's like, oh, like you trained Anakin. It's like, whoa, man. I mean, oh, bro. I don't really have a comeback to that, but like, yeah, do you have to go there? <laughs> yeah, like you're not wrong, but like, it's not my fault. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm very yeah, excited it was bit, for Obi-Wan. It was very mean. I'm very excited for Obi Wan Kenobi. It will be a great time. I'm excited. I know this doesn't apply for everyone, but I am excited to be able to watch it while I'm in a celebration area, so we can watch it together and talk about it right as it comes out. Um, oh. And also, since I'll be on the West Coast, it'll come out at midnight instead of 3 a.m. Yes. Which is awesome, because I can stay up till midnight. Can't quite stay up till 3 a.m. Uh, all the time, anyway. So. <laughs> yes. Yes. Or be like me and get too busy where you kind of just don't. Uh, well. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um <laughs> it's a fun time here yeah it'll all be worth it hopefully <laughs> <laughs> you got this um Stop. all right anything else to say about obi-wan very excited very excited i think seeing obi-wan will give me a dose of serotonin even if he is being really sad sometimes this sounds mean because i love obi-wan and i do want him to be happy but like some of the best episodes of clone wars have sad obi-wan you know i think good star wars just needs a little bit of sad obi-wan sometimes add some spice yeah (laughs) but it's like when you know rebels came out and you were like what if i just took everyone and put them in like a like a a, padded room a padded room i was gonna say powdered but that was not the correct word i mean it could be powdered too who's to say it can't be what if they suffocate that's a good point. I do know that I, when in high school, in my culinary high school, we like opened a bag of powdered sugar. Like it was this big, like uh, maybe 50 pound bag of powdered sugar to put it into a bin to refill the bin with powdered sugar. Uh, it exploded and uh, I, like, I couldn't breathe because it was just like, I was just inhaling sweetness is a little dangerous, but it was really funny and very tasty. <laughs> yeah, powder. <laughs> um, and the yeah, so maybe I think once in a while Obi Wan deserves you know happiness though. Yeah, I don't know. If we'll see that in the show. <laughs> I just need like a little smile, like to know that he's gonna we can be get okay. a smile. I think we can get a smile. That's a good goal. I wouldn't I wouldn't uh, try for much more 
but I think we can make a smile. I think we can get there. Mm-hmm. That's the thing. It's like it's it's also an interesting thing where we know that he's gonna be okay technically. We just don't know like what happened in between all that, but like we know he's not gonna die. Hopefully, I don't know how he would. That would be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Obi Wan dies. Um, it's like, wait. I mean, it's like how they did that in the Clone Wars, where they were like, "Look, he got shot," and we were all like, "What?" <laughs> and then, and then know, he, went he bald. became a bounty hunter and got bald. Yeah, bald Ewan, very bald. If you do like, want to have the Obi Wan, you can have get a little. I've started reading Brotherhood today. Finally, it's really good. I am 17 chapters in, and so mm-hmm. far, we have got cameos of Quinlan Boss, Siri Tachi, Jaro DePaul, and Cal Kestis, so I am living my best life. Nice, nice. I scared Freddy, because it was like, Obi-Wan stopped to talk to Jaro DePaul, and the little red-headed youngling followed me around, I was like, oh my god, it's <laughs> Cal! <laughs> <laughs> makes sense, makes sense. Freddy looked at me like, what are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> Anything else to say about the Kenobi trailer? Well, not really. Very good. Then we will move on to kind of more Kenobi, but um, the Star Wars just today had a Vanity Fair, or was it yesterday? It was today. Vanity Fair feature. Mm-hmm. Which is Fair beautiful. Point. The pictures Fair. are stunning. We got some obviously Kenobi stuff with Vader and um, Reva the Inquisitor and Obi-Wan himself, but also stuff from Mandalorian season three with um, pictures of Din Djarin. That, that, that's what that, that, that TikTok you sent me of was. Yes. Because <laughs> I like saw it and I was like, why is, why is he with the cool people? What happened? <laughs> like, like yeah, he's also cool. I don't get me wrong, but. <laughs> It's a Vanity Fair feature for upcoming Star Wars television. Um, and so there's uh, live action Ahsoka. And um, our first look really at um, Cassian in the Andor show, along with a look at um, Mon Mothma um, in a completely beautiful, fabulous new costume. She looks stunning. Mm-hmm. Um it's it's like it's still like you know like white like a roby papey kind of thing like not that different from what she usually wears but different enough where I was like whoa she looks beautiful mm-hmm. yes I like the photo with Dave Fulon it's very funny yeah I I didn't and see I that like- one at first I just saw Anne Convery's Instagram post and she like zooms in on his face and it was like the most unwilling male model <laughs> <laughs> oh man. But yeah, so a lot of really amazing, beautiful pictures. More Annie Leibovitz crossing over Star Wars, of course. Um, but we also get a little bit of news um, ish. So we have Andor. We don't have official release date, but we know now it premieres in late summer 2022, which I assume would be like August. And then season three of Mando will be late 2022 or early 2023. They're not sure on that one, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, and Ahsoka will also be 2023. I am excited for Cassian. I'm I want Cassian excited. to make the best chilaquiles ever in the show. Him to make what? Chilaquiles. Nice. Yes. I'm sure he will do that. <laughs> K2SO will help. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> no, I think, I think K2SO is going to help him cook. Mm. he's gonna help he's gonna like he's gonna taste it <laughs> you like Cassian's like here taste it and he just like shoves it into like that mouth hole thing and be like just he just gets like smeared all just chew it. on it <laughs> yeah yes um we also have a pic there's also pictures of Hayden Christensen training for being Darth Vader and there's like a, a picture of him wearing like normal like t-shirt and like jeans but then he has a big cape 
sexy is to practice for having the cape. Yeah, that's <laughs> such a look. I, I saw that. I was like, why does he have a cape on? It's such a look. Um, there was other news. I'm just going to the article now. I think the other thing was that the next Star Wars movie, we don't have like details on it or a date or anything, but the next movie planned will be the one directed by Taika Waititi. And I'm already very excited for it. I don't need to know anything about it. The fact that it's Taika Waititi is enough for me. Yes. I agree. I recently finished, uh, kind of recently, uh, uh, Our Flag Means Death. And it was the best thing ever. Uh, 10 out of 10. Would recommend to everyone in the world. Uh, directed, starred Taika Waititi. It was beautiful. Masterpiece. So, yes, Taika Waititi. I think he should be part of everything. Truly. Um, I know there's no details about it here, but I know there is a Lando series in some stage of development, and if he doesn't get to direct at least one episode, I will uh, be screaming, crying, throwing up, etc. Mm-hmm. Because Taika Waititi and Donald Glover Lando would be everything I could want ever in my life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I agree. I will also uh, uh, contribute to the crying, throwing up um, <laughs> thing if it doesn't happen. Um, yes. The other thing that was said was that the Acolyte series, um, which we don't have dates for or anything, but will take place roughly 100 years before Phantom Menace and will um, kind of explain like how the Sith return and stuff, which is uh, which is interesting because that was one thing I was wondering a little bit with the High Republic reading those books and maybe future phases will explain it, but looks like we'll get that in Acolyte too. Um, we also know that there is a new series that we don't know. So there's been a lot of series announced the last D23 or the last uh, investors meeting. But there's a new series with a code name Grammar Rodeo. We don't know what that is, but it will take place after Return of the Jedi. Interesting. Well, we know a casting notice has been called for four children around 11 to 12 years old. Hmm. And um, the Grammar Rodeo t- code name is a reference to an episode of The Simpsons where Bart and his schoolmates steal a car and run away for a week so we're gonna run with that for a little bit (laughs) um and (laughs) also they did confirm because this is something that's been rumored for years but ryan johnson's trilogy is um not canceled like some people thought just put on the back burner because ryan johnson has his Netflix deal with a bunch of movies. Mm. Gotcha. But not canceled, just on the, excuse me, on the back burner. I think mm. that was all the big news from that. I scrolled through. So when when are we getting the news that you you have your own Star Wars movie? Man, Where do we get I'm trying that? to get those internships. It's, it's hard out here, man. <laughs> I'm trying so hard and they won't email me oh. it's okay I'll get another internship I'll get there this might take a while but I you I will won't give up I will email them so many times they're gonna be so sick of me I'll either get a job or I'll get blacklisted we'll see what happens first <laughs> hopefully job <laughs> hopefully uh yeah yeah that was really the big news from Vanity Fair so very exciting we have a lot of Star Wars TV to look to for look forward to for a while not sure when we're getting another movie um because I will say I have been missing the Star Wars theater experience deeply Mm. um Marvel theater experiences have been filling that hole in my heart for a little bit but I will need Star Wars (laughs) Um, yeah i watched uh dr strange recently it was pretty good i went to see dr strange in my 
Wanda costume. Ooh. Exciting. Yeah, no, I the first time I went to see it, I walked through my campus down Broad Street, which is the main street in Philadelphia, in my costume. It was fantastic. And then I walked back. It's also fantastic. And I watched the movie because I was like, oh, you're nice. fun. I won't spoil it for anyone. But I was like, oh, fun. Wanda and Dr. Strange Adventures. And then I was like, huh? Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was it was a lot i loved that movie uh i saw it twice um so good i saw it in my wand at times it's definitely one of my favorites right now it's it, there's just so much it's very good so i recommend it america chavez is phenomenal love her can't wait for her solo movie or series or whatever she gets mm-hmm. uh, obsessed um but yeah. Yeah. Very good. Marvel will keep us sane for a little yeah, bit. We have Miss Marvel, um, Thor. Um, is that also being directed by Taika or no? Yes, it is. Yes, good. it is. I will only take my Thor from Taika. Thank you. Yes. Uh, yeah, I just think, you know, I think we need to clone him a couple dozen times and you can just make everything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Uh, like instead of Palpatine, we use it on Taika. Yeah. Yeah, I think you should just start. Just, I think that no film industry, it's now the Taika Waititi industry. It's just all him making everything all the time. <laughs> um, yes. Yeah, well, that's all I have Star Wars-wise. If you're looking for a movie to see, go see Everything Ever all at once. It's one of the best movies I've ever seen in my whole life. Um, Please go watch it. What is it? Everything Everywhere All at Once. It stars. It sounds familiar. It's a multiverse movie, but not Marvel. Mm. It stars Michelle Yeoh. um, And it's it's just awesome. Please watch it. Everybody must watch it. Don't watch a trailer if you want, but like, don't just like just watch it. Just go in blind. Just watch it. Mm. I recommend Our Flag Means Death. It's very good, very funny. Taika Waititi made it. Um, uh, it's about uh, gay pirates, and it's great. And yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know. Very good. <laughs> that's been on my watch list. Uh, I started watching Rested Development for the first time and that sucked me in, but I will definitely watch that one too. Mm-hmm. It's only like, there's 10 episodes. <sighs> I, know, I have so many things to watch. And luckily, a lot of time off work for the next couple weeks. <laughs> so, we'll do that. Um, yeah, all right. Well, I think that was a podcast. Mm-hmm. So we'll do plugs and things. Um, Stars Geek Girl, if you're going to be at Celebration um, on May 29th at 1230 noon California time, so 330 Eastern time, figure it out if you're somewhere else. Uh, I'm not capable of that, but 1230 PST uh, on May 29th, Sunday, May 29th, that's the Celebration or the Stars Geek Girl podcast. So Lizzie will not make it, unfortunately. <laughs> um, but we will try and stream it. Uh, but it'll be me, uh, Levi from the Death Watch Girls is going to join us. And probably um, Kerwin from Father and Son, the Star Wars podcast. And um, I'm trying to get Axel up there. No. <laughs> uh, we'll be talking about growing up with Star Wars and what that means for us. So if you're at Celebration, come see it. I know it's the same kind of time as the Visions panel, but if you want to come see us, uh, we'll be on the podcast stage at 1230 on Sunday. And yes, please come see it. It'll be fun. We're fun. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, and and confirm. Other, other Star Wars things, we have the Star Wars Geek Girl Facebook page, Twitter and Instagram at SW Geek Girl. And uh, starsgeeker.com, like I said, I took a week off last week, but I'm getting back into it this week. 
um, a poll every month, book reviews on Mondays. My next book review will be on Brotherhood, which is already one of my favorite books, I think. I'm loving it so far. Uh, quizzes every Wednesday and just a random blog article uh, on every Friday. Nice. Um, the Rogue Rebels, therogueribbles.com, where you can find a bunch of things that my dad writes as well. It's uh, very good. I don't know if he's been able to update it, though, since work. But look at it anyway. It has a bunch of cool stuff. Instagram and TikTok at The Rogue Rebels. Twitch at Rogue Rebels Podcast, wherever you listen to Star Wars Geek Girl. Facebook page, The Rogue Rebels. Twitter at Rogue Rebels Fan. All right. Where my dad tweets things. He tweets lots of things. <laughs> yes. Um, Thank you for listening to Star Wars Good Girl. Please check us out if you're going to be at Celebration on the podcast stage. Or if you even just find me, come say hi. I won't be bringing Sabine, but I'll probably bring an F from Star Wars Visions and a, a Kara also from Star Wars Vision because mm-hmm. um, they don't have helmets, so they're easier to pack. Uh, yeah, Fair. come say hi. I'll be walking around a lot, I'm sure. Trying to go to some panels, but we'll see. We'll see what actually happens. Um, yes. Yes, I will not be there, probably. <laughs> so uh, don't don't look for me. <laughs> In spirit, you yes. <laughs> look for my spirit. It's there somewhere. Somewhere. Um, thank you for listening to Star Wars Geek Girl. I was Zoe. I was Lizzie. May the force be with you, and goodbye. Goodbye. Star Wars Geek Girl. They're geek girls that like Star Wars And sometimes cry